Today we're creating 3D objects in Illustrator. What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and in today's video we are going to create some cool 3D effects in Illustrator that are very easy to do. So I will show you on the screen what we're going to make today and essentially, usually I would use Cinema 4D for this kind of stuff. But a couple of months ago, maybe even a year ago, Illustrator updated their features in order to create a very very new 3D workspace which gives you the opportunity to do these 3D effects in a very very easy way. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so in order to create this setup, I'm going to make a new artboard which are the same size as our other artboard and essentially this is very easy to do all we need is a plain square or rectangle that fills up the whole canvas and i'm gonna use a tribal shape but you can obviously use anything for this uh, i'm just gonna pick one from the dread shapes package so uh, i used this one for the first video let's just use this one for the second one and i'm just gonna color this black and i'm gonna center this scale it up right so one thing that you want to do is make sure that in order to create this setup of course i'm going to make this into a compound path so i'm going to go to object compound path make and what we're going to do is make a copy of this so we're going to press command or control c on our keyboard instead of pasting this anywhere with command v as you can see this is not placed in the right place i'm going to go to edit paste in front which is control or command f on your keyboard and essentially you're going to duplicate now the exact same place i'm going to use this to punch out a hole on the rectangle that we made so i'm also going to select the rectangle here by holding shift on my keyboard and i'm going to go to window pathfinder and i'm going to press minus front here and this leaves you with a tribal skull shaped hole. All right, so now for the 3D technique, what we're gonna do is select the background layer, the square. I'm gonna go to effect 3D materials and essentially you can choose any of these, but for the technique that I used just now, we're gonna use inflate. So as you can see, there's already like some shadow forming here. Basically what we can do is the depth and the more depth you get here, the more deeper this shape is gonna be. I'm actually gonna leave mine relatively close here so this comes with a lot of more options and i'm more than willing to create more videos on this if you guys want to so if you want to have me do more 3d stuff in illustrator let me know in the comments and i'll do more videos on it so essentially we have three tabs here the object the materials and the lighting and as you can see on our reference material here we want a more metallic material so let's go to materials uh, there are a couple of presets here but for this the only thing that you need to do is go to the metallic slider here at the bottom and slide this all the way up to one and as you can see this creates a crazy difference and then and we can also manage the lighting so we can change wherever the light is coming from in order to create that nice bevel and emboss effect that you can also have in Photoshop. But essentially, this gives you a lot more control than the bevel and emboss effect in Photoshop and it's relatively easy. I do notice, however, that my computer is a little bit heavy maybe if you don't have the best computer in the world. So yeah, that's uh, basically all there is to it. So what we're gonna do is do the same thing with our skull here. So we're gonna go to effect and go to 3D materials, inflate, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna up the depth a little bit more. But it's a little bit hard to see because this is a black shape. So we're gonna up the metallic here. And this gives you the like intensity. So if you wanna play around with like how these highlights are formed, go to the roughness and the more you lower the roughness, the less you're gonna see, but the light is gonna be a little bit sharper. And the more roughness, the more diffuse the reflection is gonna be. So essentially it's fading, but the area of effect is going to be a little bit larger and i find it around between like 0.25 and 0.45 works best you can also do is up the intensity of the lighting so the higher the intensity of the lighting up the roughness a little bit more that helps but let's see how far we can have this thing go can we press in 300 200 is the max that's all there is to it and there you have it, a metallic chrome inflated effect in a matter of seconds. If you want to get a project file for these, which comes with the two tribal shapes used in this video, you can become a patron of the channel. Becoming a patron of the channel gives you access to over 100 PSD files, a 15% discount in my asset web store where you can get these tribal shapes for yourself, as well as an exclusive role in the Dreadlabs Discord community. If you go one tier up, you'll also get access to exclusive tutorials, such as the basics of the Illustrator episode 2 and onward, making a death metal logo from scratch, which basically teaches you how to make these kinds of shapes yourself, as well as a lot more. So a you shout out to all of my patrons thank you so much for supporting the channel thanks to you i'm actually able to give you guys free tutorials on a weekly basis with all of that being said this is tom from dreadlabs tuning out thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you guys in the next video